also. I seasoned these up yesterday. I just need to put some olive oil on it. Shake it up. I just want to stick this inside the stove so it can start cooking. Poquitito. I actually slice, I actually slice them up. So I don't know if you can see. Let me show you a really good one. Okay, this is a good one. So you see, as you can see, like I slice them just like this. Um, then I clean them really good and then I season them up. And I clean them with vinegar. I actually have the butter one too, but I feel like the olive oil one is going to go great with this. Like that. I am just going to drink a little bit of my wine. So good. Oh, that's so good. Okay. So I'm going to make rice. So I'm making some gandu some arroz con gandules right now and I just have some sofrito, some salsa, some oil in there. And I always wash my beans only because I know people that have found um, gusanitos inside of their Goya um, can. Just throw that in there. I make my own sofrito and I did not have any cilantro. So... We are quarantined and we just gotta work with what we have. So I had everything else except for the cilantro. That's why it didn't come out that rich green color. So I kind of fry up the beans just a little bit. To making the skin extra crunchy I spray on top of them I spray a little bit of olive oil cooking spray all over them just to give them the extra crunch you know that you have enough water in your rice pot when your spoon sticks up straight up just like that all right, so there was only so much I could do with two hands. Um, so I added pepper, black pepper, and I also added oregano. Now that it's boiling like this, this is when I taste the juguito, and this is when I know if I need to add some salt, or some more pepper, some more adobo, anything like that. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. So I'm just waiting for it to dry up a little bit more before I cover it and switch it to low. After five minutes in broil, this is what the chicken wings are looking like.
I just want to give you guys a really quick update about everything that has been going on with the business. See the light going on and off, by the way? It's little Chris. And I have all the kids here that tell you're gonna, and they're they're all playing like Fortnite or something. I don't know. So you're gonna hear them screaming in the background. I just wanted to give you guys a really quick update. I did leave the house once to go pay the the studio rent. So I went all the way to Cheshire. I paid the studio rent and some other bills. And when I came back home, I was like, <clears throat> like. <sighs> Like, I think I need some NyQuil or some NyQuil or something. I swear, it's like, I think it's like in your head that you feel like if you go outside, you automatically are sick. <laughs> we have been, so we've just been literally crammed inside the house. I've been cooking every day. Um, I have my stepdaughter here, so all in, all in total, I have five of the kids. Um, my stepson is with his mother. As you can see, little Chris is right there. You know, as a small business owner, it's stressful because this is your livelihood and you don't get, you don't get any, you know, there's no income coming in, like that's it, that's it. You can't like apply for, a, what is that called, um, when you're out of work, um, unemployment. You can't, you know, you don't qualify for that stuff, so. If you're not making any money, there's obviously no money coming in. So it's really stressful. It's been really, really hard on us. It was a really hard decision for us to close up because we did close up before the health department told us to close up. We're in direct contact with um, the clients. So I just didn't want to bring back anything, you know. Um, I have to think about my kids and that's at the end of the day, you know, my kids are more important than anything else. So I didn't want to bring like any type of negativity to YouTube um, but this is my life and I'm trying to be as transparent as I can um, with you guys and this is just part of this is just part of my life it's part of being a business owner and we're all going through this right now so I figured why not you know I will post it to let you guys know what we're going through it's not easy something has to be done like what can i do to help my community the smartest thing for us to do as people is just stay inside I feel like that you know that's the only way we can help out so we're staying inside i spent almost a thousand dollars just on supplies for here food we have this is a family of eight we needed lots of food, you know, like spaghetti, mac and cheese, things like that. We don't have in this house because I usually don't ever cook that. Um, the pizzas that you put in the oven, never in my house have I ever bought pizza that you stick in the oven. I bought some because you just never know what can happen. And I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to finish cooking. Um dinner and i'm going to edit a video and yeah that's basically gonna be my life i have been living off of wine i've been eating snacks i haven't been working out okay just to tell you guys i haven't been juicing i'm like the worst i probably gained all the way i lost back i have everything i need to work out here so i'm going to make it a thing to wake up in the morning and maybe do some fasted cardio um so far our governor said that school is not going to be open in up until april 20th so that's an entire month so who knows when i'm going to be back to work but yeah i'm going to end this video off here thank you guys so much for um coming watching my videos and supporting forget to subscribe down below and hit that like if you like this video or dislike if you dislike this video those are welcome to me um thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video